Hi everybody, this is Marav and today we're going to talk about the System Emails Manager of Guru. To get to it, you go to, under Subscriptions, you click on System Emails. Basically what it is, is where you manage all the emails that are being sent from the system to your customers. It can be an email that they get when they purchase a course, or maybe a reminder email when their course has expired or is about to expire. So by default you have a few emails that are available for you and they look pretty good but you should probably open each one of them to make sure that they fit your needs maybe make a, make a more uh, make some changes to personalize them for your own website let's open one of them and take a look so when you open an email you can see that on top you see the variables that you can s that you can use inside the email or inside the subject of the email and the variables include stuff like the student email address uh, the renewed term, the first name, a link to my orders page and stuff like that. So make sure that when you use the variable don't omit the brackets around the variable and don't change the case of the variable. Make sure that you just copy it exactly as it is. Alright, so under that you can see published, unpublished. If the email is not published it's just not going to be sent out to the customer. You can enter a name for this email. You can choose the term. For example, here, this is an email that's going to be sent as soon as the course is purchased. So the term is on purchase. You can also choose on expiration, which means when the course is expired, the email is going to be sent. Or one day, two days, three days before expiration or after expiration. The email subject is the subject they're going to see when they get the email. And of course the email body is the email itself and feel free to change it uh, for your needs. When you're done making all the changes, click save and you're done. Now you can also determine which of those emails are going to be sent for any course that you have. So let's take a look. If you go to courses under training and you click edit under edit info say we want to edit the Joomla SEO course under pricing and plans you can see that at the bottom you can choose which system emails are going to be sent out to the customers the ones that are not checked are not going to be sent out so make sure you check only the ones that you want people to receive for this particular course now this is very powerful because it allows you to use the same email for all your courses. The only thing you need to make sure is that instead of using the actual course name, you use the variable. For example, this is the variable for the course name, course underscore name. So instead of telling them this and that course has expired, you just enter course name and then you can use this email for any course that you have. So this is it about the system emails feature of Guru. 